Hi guys, you may have heard or seen the corn ribs video that went viral this year, February 2021. You know, the one where they slice the corn in half in the center from top to bottom. Well, I'm here to say I've tried it and I realize how risky and dangerous it can be for the average person to try to do it, especially if it's their first time. After making this quite a few times since the video went viral, which tasted really good by the way, from my experience, I just wanted to share six tips that I learned myself that would be a little more helpful for you to know before cutting these corns into pieces like these that resemble ribs, corn ribs as they call it. Let's first take a look at that viral video on how she cut them. Oh my goodness, these corn ribs need to be the next trending food. They're so fun and I don't know why, but it's way more satisfying to eat corn this way. First, we're going to need to cut the corn on the cob. Some people say to hack at a knife with a rolling pin, but A, that didn't work, and B, it's just way too complicated. I found that if you stand it up straight and give it a firm push, it cuts right through. Now cut those half pieces in half again until you have four ribs like so. Okay, so it went pretty fast, but let's watch that one more time. Oh my goodness, these corn ribs need to be the next trending food. They're so fun and I don't know why, but it's way more satisfying to eat corn this way. First, we're going to need to cut the corn on the cob. Some people say to hack at a knife with a rolling pin, but A, that didn't work, and B, it's just way too complicated. I found that if you stand it up straight and give it a firm push, it cuts right through. Now cut those half pieces in half again until you have four ribs like so. Then shortly after, I noticed some people posting comments on that video where they thought the cutting looked quite dangerous. And honestly, I thought so too. Then other TikTokers started posting videos on their experience on making these corn ribs. Some say it was a struggle on cutting them. Here's what I mean. So everybody, I'm trying to make this corn thing. Uh, and they said, cut her in half. So having one hand, it's it kind of difficult. I just can't seem to get her so I go I'll get my trusty hammer hit the top of the old nine that shit ain't working either so uh, give me some suggestions people I want that corn stuff I want it bad this is such bullshit Oh no! Good thing we bought a lot of corn! This is not going well! Maybe just try another knife. This is already failing! And there we have it! It was so easy to cut! Sarcasm wink! For anybody who saw that corn rib TikTok, don't do it. It's way harder than it looks. They, they don't want to cut. They just don't want to cut. Doesn't matter what knife you use, they don't want to cut. First off, peel off the husks, split each ear into four. I'm not gonna lie, this is the hardest part. I broke some. They were a lot more challenging than I thought they were gonna be. Like the cutting process, for example. You're supposed to cut them in half and then cut them in half again, but that was super hard. Either way, I got through it. So now I decided to give this a shot and make these corn ribs. This clip here was my first time cutting a corn. Watch closely. See how dangerous that was? If this was my first time cutting a corn like this, I can imagine other people like me who has never sliced a corn can be experiencing the same thing. Here's my second try on a new corn. Wow. 
Wow, this was hard to watch back. I'm still not giving up. This was my third try. By the way, I'm posting this because I know other people won't post their first time cutting a corn and the reality of it. Okay, so at this point, I became a bit frustrated. I just couldn't cut it down in the center. And here I am trying to figure out how to cut this. I tried to cut it down from the side, but that wasn't working. The corn bone was just too tough to cut through. And here's a mistake. Don't continue to cut the corn downwards if it didn't cut through the first time. The knife will continue to slide off from the slanted cut. Instead, turn the corn 90 degrees and cut it that way. That would be the last chance with the corn to be cut. As you can see in this example, the first cut failed, so I resumed and it just shaved off more corn. So instead, turn it 90 degrees and cut down that way. You can still get a quarter cut out of it. even though it's not perfect, but that's okay. Okay, so tip number one. From what I learned, boil the corn first for 10 to 15 minutes. This will soften the middle corn bone a bit, making it easier to cut. Tip number two. Use oven gloves or a towel that will protect your fingers on the hand touching the blade. And hold the knife's handle firmly with the other hand or use gloves on both hands to be extra safe. Tip number three, use a very sharp knife. To cut through the corn bone, use the sharpest knife you have or sharpen your knife. A dull knife just won't work or it could become more dangerous with a dull knife sliding off the corn. After switching to a sharper knife, I found it much easier to cut through. Tip number four, it's easiest to cut the corn standing up. If your corn has a stem like this, you'll need to cut that off first so the corn can stand. Now place your knife straight center of the corn bone and cut downwards keeping that straight line down. I tried cutting the corn when it's laying down, but that was just too hard, even when the corn is cut in half. I mean, it's doable if you keep pounding the knife with your hand, but for me, it seems to be much easier standing the corn up and cutting in the center downwards. Just use extra precaution because after the corn has been boiled, the bone is now tender and this might cause it to slightly bend or wobble a little bit, especially when you're cutting into quarters. So just take the cutting slow and not fast and you should be able to get nice slices of corn like these. Tip number five, focus cutting slow and steady just like I mentioned previously. Slowly make an incision in the center then keep the knife in line. If the corn bone is tender enough from boiling, you should be able to cut easily through like this. Then there will be no need to keep banging the knife down with your hands.
And last but not least, tip number six. Optionally, you can also use smaller mini corns instead of cutting the full size corns. This is much easier and safer to cut. You can usually find these packaged in the frozen section. This is the three inch corn. Two of these would make one full size corn. Or you could even go with two inch mini sized corns, which I found here, if your local supermarket sells them. I'd say three of these would make one full size corn. Here's me cutting the 3 inch mini sized corn after it was boiled. And that was easier and safer as you do less cutting down. They are smaller as you get half the size, but in my opinion, these are still great. Maybe even better as small appetizer dish size. And this is the smaller 2 inch mini size corn after boiling. Because they're already so small, you don't need to cut them into quarters. A halfway cut and you're good. You can also just cut your full size corn once in half. You don't need to cut them into quarters, it's totally up to you. Overall, after making different flavored corn ribs and cutting them into halves, quarters, and mini sized corns, personally, I find it a little more satisfying eating a corn this way now. It's got me hooked. At least for now. Something about the easy to hold lightness and bite size of it, like a chip with a dip. You're not holding a heavy corn and turning it around to eat it. And also, you don't need to turn it around halfway through cooking it. So I hope these tips help you out to cut these corns easily and safely. And if you're still uneasy about cutting a corn, then by all means, you don't need to cut it. Eating a full size corn won't change the taste. It's just the cut that makes it different. By the way, these are some delicious corn ribs I made that I'll link in my video description if you guys want to check them out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please like if you found this content helpful. Be safe and take care. I'll see you in the next one. Aloha.